the information and communication skills of all civil servants to map out ICT gaps in the sector. ICT Cabinet Secretary Joe Mujeru says the move will help to improve digital capacities as part of Kenya's digital transformation agenda. ICT illiteracy remains high in the public service hampering the rollout of e-government services to the public. Kenya's ICT sector has grown by an average of 10.8% annually since 2016, according to the World Bank. The sector now accounts for about 8% of Kenya's GDP. According to Business Monitor International, Kenya's information technology market was valued at 64 billion shillings at the end of 2020, with computer hardware sales totaling 37 billion, while IT software sales were valued at 18 billion, and the balance on other services. The digital economy blueprint launched in 2019 seeks to depend the use of ICT services in the public sector and increase investments in the industry. Just as uh, we are seeing here civil servants getting their skills being up, up, updated, then everybody in the country must do the same so that then they are part of this ecosystem, they are part of being able to improve whether it's uh, the business they are in or uh, whether it's entertainment, whatever they are doing. The government says that upskilling its workforce is part of the plan to ensure Kenya grows its digital economy. ICT Cabinet Secretary Joe Mosheru says there is a need for technical training aimed at improving the IT knowledge in the public sector. This training is, is really beneficial. So when you do an audit uh, of all our skills, it helps you to identify who needs more training, what kind of training is required. Over the last two years, there has been tremendous growth in the use of ICT consequently, causing a ripple effect in the digitalization. However, Kenya's growing ICT sector still faces the daunting task of safeguarding against vices such as cybersecurity and information security, which the government says it is addressing. Kenya, through the ICT authority in conjunction with Huawei Kenya, has been upskilling civil servants through technical and non-technical courses to over 1,500 public servants since 2020. If the components that drive Kenya's digital economy is the hardware, then the software is the talent which the government says wants to see match the digital economy that is now skyrocketing in this part of the world.